What's up guys, Anruf here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Now in today's video, we're talking about how you can stream any computer game straight to your Android device using one free application and of course your computer and nothing else. Now this used to be a child's dream back in the day when I used to search on YouTube, how can you play GTA 5 on your phone? And if you do that right now, I'm pretty sure you'll be bombarded by all these clickbait videos claiming you can play GTA 5 on your phone and just on your phone without a computer. Don't believe in that. It's obviously fake however if you want to stream games to your phone playable games that you can actually play with just your phone and nothing else then you're at the right place if this video interests you don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel and let's get started Alright guys, so the only thing that you need to do to, you know, do this essentially, this entire process and play games like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Forza Horizon 4 straight on your phone is to download an application called Moonlight Game Streaming. It's available on the Play Store and the link to it will be linked in the description below. Now, once you've installed the applications, there are a couple of prerequisites that you make sure you hit before you, you know, essentially get started. The first thing among that is to make sure that your computer is running on an NVIDIA based graphics card. So you need either a GPU which has GTX, GeForce or RTX, GeForce, uh, you know, graphics card. So any NVIDIA graphics card, as long as that is what's running on your PC, you'll be good to go. And the second thing that you want to make sure is that game stream is switched on in your GeForce experience settings, uh, which if you don't know what is, is actually a software from NVIDIA itself that you can install for free on your computer. Once you've installed that, all you have to do is go to the settings, then to the shield section and all you have to do is make sure that the game stream option is switched on. Once you've done that, what you have to do is open up the application and once the application has been opened, your PC will essentially be recognized because they either have to be on the same Wi-Fi network or in the same local area network. And once that is done, you can connect to your PC using a pin code that will be you know, shown on your computer and you have to enter that on your phone. And once that is done, it is an extremely simple process process you'll see all the games that are installed on your computer and you can play them directly from your phone now if you go to the settings there are a lot of options inside the application that you can configure including the resolution of the game the frame rate the bit rate and if you're getting a lot of latency in case you're doing this on a wireless connection like I am what you can do is reduce the bit rate it won't look that good but at least the game would be playable however I've heard claims and read reviews on the Play Store that if you're using a wired Ethernet connection there is absolutely little to no latency which sounds absolutely incredible and you know with either connecting a wireless controller a keyboard or a mouse or even turning on the on-screen controller on your phone you can essentially play a game directly on your phone without even touching your computer now of course you do need a computer for this process to take place but the fact that something like this is actually possible is absolutely insane and it completely blows my mind and a part of me does not want to agree with it because of the amount of clickbait that I've encountered online whenever I've wanted or you know had such an idea in my head however this is real it works it's totally legit in case you want to try something like this in this quarantine period don't hold back download the application and let me know how it went for you until then this is Anubhav signing out I'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day peace out